when you get no estrogen, right? So you hit menopause, everything's flatlined. The mechanics of the cell become even more impaired because it's not about too much. It's about too much or too little estrogen. So when we lose it completely, we lose the capacity to maintain leanness and we lose some of our quality of, of metabolic burn inside our powerhouse because we can't use glucose properly. Now, there's, other, there's one other major topic I wanna to talk about today. And that is we have nerves all over our body that send signals to different parts of the body. One of the biggest signals we have is the nerve signals that goes to the fat on the parts of the body that are particularly what we call subcutaneous. This is the stuff that's on the outside of your muscle, right? So the outside of the muscle is where we get the cutaneous fat. And then that is the stuff that we hate. It's what I call the jiggly bits. It's the things that are on the outside and you know maybe it sticks out a little bit or you've got a little bit of belly fat. Well, the, the adrenal receptors there, so that's driven by adrenaline, really epinephrine, right? Epinephrine is what sort of stimulates that activity. And then there's a hormone adiponectin that takes the fat out of the fat cell. Well, that part goes to sleep. It is well documented that as we go into menopause, our ability to sort of innervate and instruct the fat cells to dump the fat is impaired right? It doesn't work as well as it did before. So it makes it harder for us to lose weight, particularly the subcutaneous stuff. And because of the loss of estrogen, we tend to gain weight in the places we really, really don't like it, which is the belly fat, 